Hi there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com, continuing off the 20k celebration with some Soul Sisters. This is kind of the iconic deck of Rogue Deck Builder. This is the deck I've probably been the most successful with. It's probably the deck I'm most known for, and easily one of my favorite decks in modern. Uh, it is called Soul Sisters, and if you don't know what Soul Sisters does, you're probably not a huge fan of the channel, because I played this deck to death. This is my latest, latest, latest version of the deck. This is a deck where the shell remains the same, but you do, depending on the meta, the, the meta game, switch up cards to combat specific cards. So right now, what I'm trying to combat is Colgan's Command. So I'm adding a card called Squadron Hawk. Squadron Hawk really had its heydays in the the Soul Sisters when the electrolyzed UWR control decks were very, very prevalent because it had a way that you could continue to put out a threat. And with like an Honor the Pure, these are 2-2 birds. And so they electrolyze off a Squadron Hawk, they 2-for-1 you, but you still have two more Squadron Hawks you were able to tutor up. It also has pretty good synergy with the Martyr of Sands, which we are going to go back up to a 1 of, as there are a few decks I think that we do want to stabilize with life. There is like Ad Nauseum has a finite amount of damage they can do. Even Storm has a finite amount of damage, but a lot of times it's out of your range of what you can gain life. But Scape Shift is, is another deck that has a finite amount of damage, and Martyrs are kind of fun when you do get the Martyr. I never want to see two of them. So just the one of is, is what we're going to run in the deck. And it's another card we can tutor up with Ranger of Eos. But the, the rest of this deck is pretty much going to stay the same. It's soul, called Soul Sisters because of the Soul Warden and Soul Attendant that gain a life whenever a creature enters the battlefield. And then we have a Johnny's Pride Mate. The ultimate draw is to go first turn Soul Warden and the second turn a Johnny Pride Mate. The old, old school also had the first turn Sarah's Ascendant into let's find the saracen here into a second turn mart of sands cracked mart of sands gain enough life to put the saracen up to a six six flying life linker and then attack in for six but that old version used to run three martyrs this is only going to run one that scenario is going to very very rarely uh happen i've cut down to two of path exiles because against the majority of the meta game of the the meta right now the path exiles are actually quite weak even against Delver, I don't put them in. Burn, they're okay. It's not that great versus Burn. Uh, you really want to see these against maybe Merfolk, but that's already a bad matchup. It, it's just not a good card to combat the majority. Like, a lot of the aggro-based decks that Path is very good against, we're already very good just by clogging up the board. So I thought that we will put two in the sideboard because there are decks that you have to have a Path deck. So, like, Jund. Jund is one of those matches where you want the Path to Exile. But there, there are very few, I would say the majority, I would say 65% of the decks right now, Path to Exile is not a card you care about. Even a Tassiger against Grixis isn't the worst thing in the world. Uh, and you, you've clogged up the board sufficiently, and Tassiger is something you can easily outrace. And then everything else in Grixis, like you're not going to path a Snapcaster Mage, you're not going to path a, um, a Delver, you're not going to path a... a a, like a young pyromancer per se so I'm, I'm thinking that they're really good against twin and we do have a lot of sideboard versus twin but they're also good versus infect but a lot of a lot of decks are just a a, a dead card and you want to apply more pressure we're still going the spectral procession route i still think it's the best card in, one of the best cards in soul sisters just with the interaction with wimbris heights and so you got to think of soul sisters as a deck that hoses aggro for one so it's the kind of the the rock to the scissors of burn and as well as this deck does very good against what we call the attrition war which is decks that run like thought seize colgan's command electrolyze things that try to two for one you or just eat down your hand because range reveals is a three for one spectral procession is a three for one squadron hawks a four for one and then windburst heights actually can be a land that can get back a or get you ahead in card advantage. So we also have Return of the Ranks versus those decks that you can get back a ton of two and one drops. And Return of the Ranks gets a lot better with like the Squadron Hawks build. We have an Archangel of Thune in the sideboard. The sideboard is really uh, metagame dependent right now. I've got Celestial Flares in for bo for the Bogles and the Infect. That's why I run a whopping four of. If your meta is filled full of like Jund 
or Merfolk, I, I suggest running Wrath of Gods and Return of the Ranks, because then you can Wrath of God, kill all their Olivia's, Tarmogoy's, Huntmasters, or if against Merfolk, Merfolk hits your I win button because they flood out the board. They have to flood out the board to try to to counter your flooding out the board, and you've gained so much life. And they're, they're really how Merfolk wins is they eventually find like a spreading seas to give all their creatures unblockable. And the Wrath of God is just amazing versus that matchup because they're, they are going to have to put out a, they're going to have to unload their entire hand. They can't sit back and just and play around a Wrath of God. A lot of times they don't put in like the counter magic because it, the majority of Soul Sisters going to be 28 of it's going to be creatures. So, or they've already used it for an early Spectral Procession or Path to Exile, and you can get in there for their Wrath of God and just wipe their field. But right now, I, you, it's just this, you can't choose to hate out every deck in Modern, and so you have to pick your, your, your pieces in your sideboard. Right now, I have a Rest in Peace for Storm, uh, two more Paths for Twin, we have a Mark of Asylum for Jund, and we have a lot of, well, Mark of Asylum comes in versus a lot of, any, any deck that runs red for their removal, we bring in Mark of, Mark of Asylum. Uh, Sunder and Gross are in here just as a flex card. They can get rid of like Ghost Quarter or Ghostly Prisons. They can get rid of uh, any any artifact like a Spell Sky. It can get rid of. And the populate actually does happen every once in a while for Spectral Processions to cure the waste, but not that often. Archangel Thune is really in here for again those Merfolk matchups or any or any deck that we need to go uh, bigger. And we've cut down to 21 lands. Usually when I have Archangel Thune in the main board, we run 23 lands, but that's why I've thrown it back over the sideboard. So this is the list I'm going to run. This is a deck that changes a ton. So just, just keep that in mind. There is no set deck list for Soul Sisters. It is very metagame dependent. So choose accordingly. There is no wrong way to really build Soul Sisters. You can go over to Martyr Proc, and I think the deck is... is, is it's great when the, the decks are flooded with Zoo and Burn and Hate Bears and Death and Taxes. So we're going to hope to run into those type of matchups and avoid the combo decks. The worst matchup for Soul Sisters by far is on Burial Gifts. There's, you have like a 0.00, .00 chance to win that deck. I don't know. I, I think I've drawn against the deck a couple times. I don't think I've, I've... If I have beat the Esper, either Esper Tron or Esper Gifts decks, it's usually due to our opponent having incredibly weak hands or us just having a first turn Martyr Sands into Sarah Ascendant and them not being able to path it in time and just being able to uh, race the Ona or the Elish Norn. So anyway, we'll get on to a league match with the Soul Sisters. This is Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.